Yeah. Okay. How did I keep, uh, Jesus. Uh, I figure I was out in the world and everybody was telling me about how, about Jesus. I really didn't believe it. And my sister kept talking with me and then she told me, I said, oh, well, it can't get no worse for me. So I tried Jesus. And when I tried it and I really tried it for myself, I found that that was the best thing that ever happened to me because the life I was in was a wreck, but you know, it was good. But once I tried Jesus, he just uh, seemed like everything I was going through, he helped take me through. And so I was trusting him and I was going to see, okay, let me see, is this what they said? But since I've been saved and since I met Jesus, my whole life's been so much better. I ain't going to tell you it's been good. It's been, had some ups and downs. Then it had some time that you thought, oh, it's, it's not worth over. But I found out in the long run, when I trust Jesus, things turn around, even when you don't have, when you have an unsaved husband, it is, you know, hard. It takes you through. But a lot of times I'm ready to give up, but I trust Jesus. And I had different ones that witnessed and talked to me. And I had scripture read and things to back it up. And I talked to the pastor about it. And I kept holding on. By me holding on to Jesus, you know, he took me through all the tests and trials and brought me through. Even when I got sick, when I got sick in 2006, when I started with my health problems and stuff, even through all the surgeries and stuff, you know, God brought me through because, you know, in 2006, I had surgery. I came out. But in 2012, when I had my heart attack, I was home and I had a heart attack and they rushed me to the hospital. Ambulance took me to the hospital. I said, oh, Lord. And they come to find out when I woke up, I had one complete was collapsed. Then I had other one, one was 73% and the other was 95. So they took me straight in to have surgery that, and fast. And then they had to transfer me down to the University of Maryland. I had two, I had the other two repaired. And I, when I woke up, the one nurse said, you, you know, I don't know you're a milk, but I know it was nobody but Jesus that kept me and brought me through that. And then after I went through that and then again, I had to have some more stents put in and he brought me through. But the one, even in 2020, I caught the cold. I said, oh Lord, I had to go rush me to the hospital for the ambulance. And I was thinking, oh Lord, you know, he's gonna bring me up. The nurse said, you're doing better. And you know with that COVID, we have friends and family members and people we knew who passed away for it. But you know what? God brought me through that after all that, they brought me through. People said they didn't understand, but I said, I understand. It was nobody but Jesus. So he has been done so many miracles. He is a miracle worker because he done it for me. And then in 2022, that's when I had another, my stents had collapsed and they rushed me in. But when I was in there and they done the procedure, I had a bad effect to it. It put me out, you know, and I didn't know nothing. And when I woke up, the nurse said, oh, she's fine. And I said, what? She said, while you were under, she said, you were calling on the name of Jesus. So she said, I ran and got some religious music. She said, but when I put on that religious music, it just calmed me down, she said. But I said, you know, I looked at her and I said, she said, huh? I said, that was nobody but Jesus that brought me out. Because the doctors came back in and they looked at me. You all right? I said, yes. But you know. It wasn't nobody, God, because they don't, they can't figure out what happened and why I had the reaction the way that I did, because they didn't know whether I was going to make it. But I said, I knew that God had his hands on me and he knew he had more for me in store because later on I had a stroke. Uh, about four or five months ago, I guess, I had a stroke and he brought me out and then, you know, and they sent me through therapy and they said, ah, you don't have a speech if, uh, I said, no, it didn't affect my speech. It didn't affect, you know, enough of my, my had weakness in my arms and my right side because that's what it affect. I went through therapy, and as you know, some of the saints know, he brought me out, and I went through, and I'm doing fine. I'm able to drive, go to the store. I even snuck to the uh, mall, you know, but God has been so good for me, but so I don't know. You know, if you don't know Jesus, you need to try him because he's been so good to 
And to me and my family, even when I lost my husband in 2005, I didn't know why I was going to make it because the house wasn't paid for. But God brought me through. The house has been paid through. And still, I have more than I ever had before, you know. So if you don't know Jesus, you need to try Jesus. If you need to talk to me, I'm there for you because I know God is good and he is merciful. You know, it's nothing too hard for Jesus. Jesus, I have to remember, Jesus had died on the cross for me. He went to the cross for my sins, you know. It ain't nailed in, they done all that, but it was nobody but Jesus that done it for us, for me. And I don't know about nobody else, but I know he done it for me. And he's continuing to bless me. He's continuing to heal me. He even makes a way for me and my family. And I thank God for this. Pray for me in Jesus' name.